Hi, this is Jed Shields of Performance Management Innovation. I talked about the more common functions I use in dashboards in the last example. This example I'm going to look at the SIM product, uh, which is a little more complex, uh, but, but very useful in getting certain bits of data out of a, a list. Uh, I'll also look at creating some drop-down menus and, and using those to choose which bits of information that we're getting out using the SIM product. So if we have a look at the SIM product formula first of all, again I'll, I'll talk about the fixed range and the named range. The named range you'll remember is, is a way of, of simplifying how the formula looks and makes it easier to remember how to create the, the formulas and these makes it easier to interrogate the formula to, to see what data it's actually pulling out. So a sum product is made up of, of basically you're telling it to target certain columns for certain criteria and returning those values. So in this example here I'm looking in A2 to A10 and I'm just interested in anything that says cable 1. So in column A2 to A10. So I'm looking in that piece of information there and I just want to look at cable 1. So I'm not interested in 2 or 3. Just pulling back cable 1. Then I want to multiply that by column D2 to D10 and again I'm only interested in 2010 week 22. So we're looking here. Just so happens in this bit of information that's all that's available. But it could be week 23, 24, 25, a whole host of different things could be in there. Finally, I want to multiply it by a value. Now, I'm not interested in defining a value. Any value will do. Um, so I'm just telling it to look in that particular area, B2 to B10, which is there. So I'm not telling it to define within that area. I just want any value pulled back. So that's how the, the formula is structured. Here's an example of, of the formula actually working. So again, we're looking in A2 to A10 for cable 1. We're looking in D2 to D10 for that particular week, and then multiplying it by this value here. And that gives us a value of 15. So just to prove that, within that area, we've only got cable 1s showing up as a 5 there, a 6 there, and a 4 there, giving us the total of 15. When I spoke last time about using a larger range, um, which is simply instead of B2 to B10 in the, this example, it would be B to B, so anything within column A, D or B, we can see that we, we return an error. So we can't actually use that that way of thinking with a sum product. The sum product needs a specific area to look at, so A2 to A thousand, two thousand, three thousand, we could put something like that as an upper limit uh, which would definitely capture any of these bits of information. Uh, trouble is that the larger you make it the more that the the sheet needs to calculate values um, and it's calculating a lot of, of blank cells in the end so so it's it's not a very effective way of doing it. So it's much easier to actually bring in the named ranges again so instead of A2 to A10 or A to A we can pull in product, week number and quantity which were the defined names that we created previously. So if I just create that again, send product. So first of all we want product to equal cable one. Then we need to multiply by week number. And that equals 2010, week 22. Finally, you need to multiply by the quantity. Now, this might not work straight away because of the way this week number is structured with a, a hyphen. It can sometimes confuse Excel. So let's have a look. Oh. I'll take it back, that actually worked. And there we go, what we've done now is 
we've got a, a range of 30, so if I can just prove that first of all. So cable 1, so we've got a 5, a 6, a 4. Now we've still got another load of values within week 22 for cable 1, so we've got a 7 and an 8. So there's your second 15, takes us up to 30. So that proves that the, the some product is working there. We can also change from cable 1 to cable 2 and it finds a different set of values in cable 3 there we go another set and we can even change the week from week 23 and we've also got some week 24 values there now it's not very user friendly to change your, 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 the values that you want to look at within the actual formula so if I set up some drop down lists using that as a list of week numbers and that as a list of products so if we do that here so data data validation we want a list there okay I've merged the cells there, so we just want K to K. Okay. And then we can see our list of weeks. And let's do a list of products. So again, data validation. We want a list. And there's your products. Change it all to K. Okay. And there's our list of products, so if I click cable 1 and week 22. Now this list, will, you can obviously change to whatever you want. It can be uh, as many or a few values as you wish. And we can link that straight into the sum product now. So instead of the product equaling a hard-coded cable 3, if we choose this particular cell that we've put the data validation against and the same with this particular cell if you put the week number against what we can do now is change the criteria of what the sum product is looking at simply with a drop down list so change from week 23 to week 22 and you can see this value changes change from cable 1 from cable 3 sorry to cable 1 and again the value changes. So this adds a, a whole new set of flexible functions rather than having to go back into the formulas and change it by having some predefined lists and setting up some drop down menus you can very easily change what the formula is actually returning. So it's very powerful, very simple. Okay I'll leave this demonstration here Look back at the website for more demonstrations in the future.